In 1920s America, the Great Depression effectively erased consumer demand. Struggling manufacturers needed new ways to get people buying again. Innovative production processes like stamping and use of moulds allowed them to use new materials for their designs. Products using vinyl, chrome, aluminium and plywood began appearing. American industrial designers began introducing streamlined, efficient shapes that shouted progress. Bel Geddes pioneered what we now refer to as utilitarian art. Things that had little reason to look sleek, now all of a sudden, did. At the 1939 World Fair featuring Bel Geddes' immensely popular Futurama exhibit, a new era of American industrial design proudly claimed to be building the world of tomorrow. Americans found great positivity in these futuristic forms. Yay. Things were looking up. American industrial designers realised that by making objects look great, people simply wanted them more. From cars to kitchen appliances, the most influential society on earth was spending money again. Mass consumption had arrived. Advertisers finally had lots to talk about. Personal taste could be expressed through the things you bought. Style became equally as important as function. Chair designers like Eames and Saarinen didn't just design seating, they created desirable lifestyles. People behind the product suddenly were stars. Everyone wanted to know who they were. Raymond Lowy was one of the shining lights of American industrial design. His face ended up on every coffee table in the nation. Toothpaste packaging promised whiter teeth. Washing powder packaging promised whiter whites. Who knew such simple household objects would shape the tastes and ambitions of an entire society? American industrial design improved America, functionally, culturally and intellectually, and exported it around the globe. Does American industrial design do it for you?